Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So this vlog is going to be about projectors. A lot of people have been asking me about projectors. Hey, Mr. 4 k uh, I've been thinking about buying a projector. What type of a projector should I buy? And is it really worth it? What are the, the positives and negatives of having a projector? So in this video, I'm going to talk about that a little bit, about the projectors. As you guys know, I do have a projector. I have two of them. I have uh, Home Cinema. 2150 by Epson and another one it's by BenQ which is more expensive $1500 the most affordable 4k projector on the market and the reason I say the most affordable uh, projector on the market it's because majority of high-end 4k projectors are around $2000 or higher so if you want to go with the Optima you're looking at roughly $2000 UHD uh, 61 I think will cost you about 2200 2300 for that kind of a price you know you could just go ahead and grab yourself a a1e or, or b8 or c8 you know you can get one of those uh nice beautifully looking OLED tvs that you guys love so much but let's talk about projectors i had projectors now for about four and a half months and i tested all types of different screens uh, I've tested uh, everything from 110 inch, 120 inch, 138 inch, 155 inch, and the other day I tested in my other room that I have in my uh, bedroom, which is my third room, uh, that's uh, 750 square feet, I tested 168 inches. You guys seen that video, I uploaded it yesterday, it's called the God of War, God of Projector. Uh, it's just some funny quote I put on there, 168 inch, you've seen it, uh, it looks amazing. Now, do I recommend you playing on a projector? Yes, you can play in a projector, but I personally don't think projectors are meant for gaming. To me personally, projectors are meant for watching movies. Sports and movies, that's the main intent of the uh, projectors. It's, basic, it's basically three. It's uh, sports, movies, and portfolios. Uh, business, business portfolios, let's say you need to go and present your portfolio for the, you know, your company or your investors or whomever. You gotta do a portfolio, so what you do is you take that projector with you and you do a portfolio and you talk about what you need to talk about. I'm just using this as an example. It could be anything, any kind of demonstration, all right? Could be a seminar that you're doing, I don't know. Uh, but it's not really meant for gaming, okay? Yes, you do have a decent input lag and there's some latency here and there because it's a big gigantic projection of a screen. To me, I can't see myself gaming too much for too long on the projector due to the fact that you're gonna be uh, destroying the life of that lamp okay you have to consider one factor that all of these projectors they have lamps uh, DLP just has a different type of a lens that has a spinning wheel uh, color wheel that's making that color projected onto a screen while the 3 LCD technology doesn't have any wheel but it still uses a lamp and a filter but you got to change that filter otherwise your lamp will die out uh, so projectors have a lamp and that lamp you need to conserve that lamp if you want to have your projector running longer okay you got to think about the longevity of your projector how long do I want my projector to last all right so you got to think about that it's it's not a backlit LED panel television it's a projector the only reason I have a projector it's an alternative option so when I decide to watch some of my favorite movies like Saving Private Ryan or Jurassic Park, Die Hard, Braveheart, I like to watch those movies on a big giant projector, okay? So that way I can enjoy it and immerse myself into the same movie theater experience that I have experienced when I first saw the movies when they were released. Uh, whenever was that years and years ago, 20 years ago, right? Or 28 years ago, Jurassic Park. So for me personally, projectors are an alternative that I use for the movies. But for my everyday use, I use my KSA 1000, 
and my Sony X900E. My uh, TCL I have in my other room, which is uh, over here. TCL, I use it uh, as an extra room, you know, like a guest room. It's like a guest room where uh, if I have a guest staying, they can come in and they can uh, watch, you know, they can watch Dolby Vision with the Apple 4K TV. So they can stay in there and watch the Dolby Vision. Maybe one of you guys will be my guest. I don't know. You guys can stay there and watch Dolby Vision. Um, so you have to think about this. Don't buy a projector as your main television uh, viewing source. You know, some people make mistake of doing that. Yes, you can do it. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. But I'm just telling you, the lifespan of that projector, it's not going to be longer than your television. You should buy a television for your everyday viewing. You know, your cable, TV, uh, everything that you watch on it. Projector is something that's an alternative. An alternative source of entertainment, mainly for the movies and sports. So, if you, if you have a Super Bowl party or if you have a... Uh, uh, World Cup coming up in Russia, World Cup, and you want to throw a party, you know, you want to watch your favorite uh, national team playing in World Cup, then I guess, yes, you can use the projector for that as well, for that special occasion, you know, and that's what it's meant for. It's meant for the movie experience and the special occasion sports uh, party or whatever it is that you want to watch on it. Uh, whether it's, uh, what I mean by whatever is whatever sports you want to watch on it. You can watch NBA Finals, uh, college football, NCAA, uh, World Cup, UFC, uh, all of that stuff. You can watch on there and throw a party and, and enjoy it. Okay. Now let's talk about the different types of our projectors. As I mentioned, there's a three LCD technology. There's a DLP technology. Uh, one major difference between the DLP and the 3 LCD is the fact that 3 LCD can output a higher, higher lumens brightness than the uh, DLP technology. However, what the DLP has is this color wheel and the color wheel on the DLP can sometimes give you reproduction of a higher color palette, you know, that, that can go up to maybe 80% on a Rec. 709. Uh, the one I have, it's about 79%, which is close to 80% on Rec. 709, meaning that the color reproduction on that HDR is going to be much, much better than, let's say, TK800. TK800 is going to give you that nice lumens brightness, but you're going to sacrifice on the Rec. 709, and Rec. 709 is going to drop down to, let's say, uh, 68 percent which is still okay which is still good but you're not getting that nice vibrant color palette that you that you want to see on your projector so these are the key things that are very important that you understand uh, so if you want to buy a projector you got to ask yourself well what type of projector is for me if you never own a projector and you're just looking to get your feet wet with a projector and you don't care about the uh, pixel shifters 4k and hdr uh, and you just need a big screen you just want something big you want to have that movie theater experience but you don't want to spend too much money because these projectors can be very expensive especially when you add to the fact you have to uh, get the receiver hook up your receiver and your speakers all of this can be really ridiculously expensive okay it's like a down payment for for the new car or something like that so, let's say you're somebody who's just concerned about the big picture. Like, I want 200 inches. I got whatever, 900 square feet, 16 feet away. Uh, I, I want to get that 200 inch. All right. Well, I would recommend Optima uh, HD 143X. Optima HD 143X. It's 3,000 lumens brightness, which is perfect for you watching your movies in the best possible brightness it's 1080p 3d uh it's a dlp it has a color wheel uh direct 709 percentage of the color palette it's okay it's about like roughly 68 69 it's not high super high enough uh but that's what you that's why you're paying 500 bucks 
So Optima HD 143X 1080p uh, projector for $500 is the best way for you to get that nice movie theater experience, to get your feet wet, all right? And that's what I would recommend for somebody who just wants to get started with projectors. Uh, if you go anything below 500, man, you, you just, then don't why even bother going into a, a projectors? Don't even bother going into projectors because if you have a hard time affording $500, then forget about the projectors. Just stick with the TV and that's that. All right. So Optima HD 143X, it's something I recommend for you who just want to get your feet wet and you want to have that nice big screen movie experience, okay? Now, if you're somebody who wants the big screen and wants to have that nice color and has, wants to have those 8.3 million pixels and you want to enjoy your 4K movies, uh, as you guys have seen me do in the past, I've showed you Saving Private Ryan in detail and a bunch of other movies. If you want that experience, then you're going to have to cash out that extra $1,000 and get the uh, uh, HD2550 uh, model for $1,500. And I know you're gonna say, but what about the TK800? Well, the only reason these two exist, and the only reason they're the same price, is because they pretty much, they are identical. The same technology, same color wheel, the only difference is that Lumen's peak brightness, okay? Uh, the TK800, it's meant for people who wanna watch their content on a big giant living rooms they're lit up and for the people who would like to take their projector out in the backyard and watch the sports watch the finals world cup whatever they throw a party so that's for whom the uh the tk800 is meant for it's not meant for really that movie theater experience even though you can still enjoy it but you're going to sacrifice that brightness, you're sacrificing it for the color wheel, meaning that the Rec. 709 palette of color is going to decrease down to, let's say, 68%. So you're not going to be getting that 79%, that, that really high color uh, palette, which is necessary for HDR, in my opinion. It's the most important stuff on, on the HDR for you to get that nice white color gamut. All right. So you have two different types of versions. But they're pretty much identical. It's just the one has a higher lumens brightness. The other one has only 2200. But I recommend HT2550 because HT2550 is the most balanced 4K HDR projector that uh, it's perfect for a $1,500 affordable price. Uh, okay, so the uh, BenQ... 4K HD 2550 projector, you're getting a really good deal for a 4K HDR projector. A year ago, of, of HDR and 4K would cost you arm and leg, like $3,000, maybe even $4,000 just to own one. But here, you're getting a really good Rec. 709 percentage of color palette gamut, uh, gamut which is a white color gamut. It's not a full white color gamut, but it's definitely in a good percentage of the color palette all right that spinning wheel that color wheel as they call it so you're getting a really nice balanced 4k hdr projector and hd 2550 is going to really give you that nice cinematic movie experience your movies really look good you're going to feel as if you're like in a movie theater uh like you just brought that same experience from, you know, Movico or uh, any kind of cinema theater out there that you go to. I just use Movico as one example, but you're going to feel that same exact feeling when you get the BenQ 4K HDR projector, HD2550. That's for those of you who wants to step from the 1080p into a 4K. This is another great recommendation. So for those of you who want to stick with 1080p, I recommend Optima HD uh, 143X. For those of you who want to step into the 4K and get your feet wet, 
with a reasonable price, I would say BenQ, uh, BenQ 4K uh, HDR HD2550 model. Now, home cinema Epson, it's good, but I cannot really recommend Epson home cinema 2150 due to the fact that it's $900. I mean, you're already getting to that threshold that's close to $1,000. So if you're gonna be already spending $1,000 for 1080p with 3,000 lumens light, you might as well step into a, an extra $500 and get yourself a BenQ HD2550 and have 4K HDR, okay? So hopefully this video gives you some perspective on the projectors and for whom I recommend projectors. Remember, projectors should be your alternative, alternative source of entertainment. They should not be your main source of entertainment, okay? Even though you can do so, you can do that if you want, but I don't recommend that you use projectors as your main source of entertainment. The projectors should be only there for your alternative source of, of uh, entertainment. So don't use it for everyday use to watch cable and then networks and all that. Your lamp will die eventually. It's not gonna last that long. You should only buy a projector something as a, an, an alternative, which I already said already four times, an alternative entertainment for home theater and sports. Your TV should be your main source of everyday use for the games, cable, uh, movies here and there. That's what the TV is for, for your everyday use. The projector, it's an alternative experience. And that's why they have projectors as an alternative experience. So hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this video was informative. Uh, and if you guys liked it, I would appreciate if you guys would uh, hit that like, you know, down here, down below, like right here, or is it here? Uh, like down here, somewhere down here, I don't know. Uh, like click that bell, make sure you click that bell. So when you click that bell, you can, you can get notified whether you want to see what Mr. 4K is doing next, or you can simply click the share, which is down here, click the share, and also click the like as many times as you can. I would really appreciate that because hitting a like and hitting the share and then subscribe button too really, really helps me out so I can go ahead and give you guys all of this content that you need. So please, uh, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button because it really helps me out. So that's it. I'm out, Mr. 4K Upscaler.